The subject in this video is an improved zero crossing detector for Arduino. Again, here's a circuit I've had for years. Very briefly, this optocoupler circuit and this resistor produce a 120 hertz pulse that triggers the interrupt on an Arduino controller to operate this triac circuit over here to control the power output either on a lamp, motor, or whatever other load. I'm going to do a bit in another video I showed how you can add Smith triggers such as a 7414 to this circuit and get improved performance. Now I'm going to give you the best performance and the simplest construction. This is the H11L1 optocoupler. This thing is a little different than what you expect. We have an LED input like we do any other optocoupler, but the detector circuit is a Smith trigger digital circuit with optical detector that will give you a clean output without having to use separate Smith trigger inverters or anything else. In the case of pin 6 goes to VCC, the voltage range is 3 to 16 volts, 5 goes to ground, 4 is your output, and it is open drain. To use this, you will have to have a pull-up resistor to get your V out. It comes in a 6-pin package, which is seen here, 6 being VCC, 5 being ground, and 4 being output. Down here illustrates the circuit that we have used in the past. In this case, I used a 1000 ohm resistor again, and here is the input to the H11L1. Here is a look at the pulsating full wave DC. The idea, the load being the H11L1 circuit, is to have a pulse at every point that this crosses, that this goes down to zero. This is what this looks like on my digital oscilloscope. Clean, 7% duty cycle pulse, period from here to here. 8.34 milliseconds. It's at 120 hertz. My rise time less than a microsecond. Here it is in relation to the input AC sine wave to the transformer. This is my output from the H11L1 every time it crosses zero. This is how I can tell where to uh, control delays and an Arduino to control power output. This is a half wave rectification. You're only getting half of what you did with the full wave. You have a large open area where there's no power and we deliver that to the load, the same circuit, the load being the H11L1 circuit. We get this square wave out. The square wave is 60 hertz. Rise time again is less than a microsecond. The period, of course, is 16.7 milliseconds from here to here. The duty cycle, though, is 53.6%, so it's not 100% linear. This would be good if you're just going after pulses. If you're just wanting to count um, count 60 of these to get a um, second, just use your rising or falling because this is not a 50% duty cycle square wave. I wouldn't use it to control power. You might have some programming problems. And that's all there is to it. Simple circuit to build. Clean output. Great for microcontroller switching. And that's all for this video. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com 
and I'll supply the link to the schematics that you saw earlier. Thanks for viewing.